So, I don't know if you saw, but this, this kind of clipped in. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Piece. And then you can either clip it in at the top here, where I have it, or down one. Okay. Right? And the reason you do that, like, I just put it there because we're going to be cutting the, um, the tenon. Right. Oh, no, we're going to do the, uh, we're going to, oh, yeah, we're going to yeah, do, we'll the, do tenon, the tenon, tenon first. first. Yeah. So, so we're going to be cutting the tenon. So then what there is, is there's some... Um, one. Yeah. Okay. So then there's a, a spoil board. Oh, okay. It's made out of MDF that just goes right there. Right. And so then these things go in here. Did they cut? Did that come with it, or did you have to make your own spoil boards? No, it, it they they came with them. I just haven't used them yet. Yeah, yeah. But okay. yeah, just, and you just make more. You can turn it around and stuff too. Sure. Using it. So then this goes in here, and then you just tighten that up, and they all everything uses the same thing here. Yeah. Same, same hex key. Same hex key. And on the front, this is kind of interesting because now we want it perpendicular. So there's a couple of uh, screws here. If you have, I don't know if you can see them there. Yeah. yeah. Unscrew them and they only come out so far to there. And then this one comes out to there. So we're going to clamp this board. To here, there are some pins sticking out. We're going to line them up to. You know, I got to put one more thing on here. This piece right on top, and we're going to butt the piece up to this piece right here. And then once, yeah, they really thought of it, thought it through. Okay, so that should be. That looks good, right? Mm -hmm. Nice and tight there. So now I should be able to take this off of here, and then I'll, it fits in these two holes right here. Is a support for the support for the router? Okay. All right. So now we want to basically want to um, uh, start a new uh, a new uh, scan. Scan. So we're going to go new scan, and then I could give it a name, but I'm not going to worry about it. So what we want to do is we want to scan all the tape and, and we also want to scan the board here so we can see where it is. And then we're going to, um, then it will know where it is relative, well, no positioning it. So uh, the tape turns blue, the little dominoes turn blue. Okay. And that means it's recognizing it. I don't know that we need all the way over there, but we'll get it there. And I'm going to back up. I'm just going to slide it back, back, so we include the uh, the wood. There. So there we go. Now we've got our piece of wood. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to put in some uh, measurements, and we're going to be measuring from the left side. We um, we want to create a grid. So we want the grid, like I said, to start in that that corner there, or actually. Um, we'll end up going off that corner, but so we'll just move it close there. We'll go grid, and then uh, we'll go new grid, and then it wants us to set the depth. So I need to move the router so that when it goes down, it can go past the piece of wood. Um, so, and then our bit, it's, it's wanting to know which our bit size is. Because that's going to make a big difference. Sure. Whoops. Quarter inch. So now it says quarter inch. Um, it's handy. Okay. So now it wants us to probe it in three area, three places. So when I move up here, I the bit is hitting the wood. Mm -hmm. So once it touches the wood, I can either hit the probe one or there's also a green button here. Ah. So I'll just hit it here for the camera. So now go I go over here somewhere. And stay here until it hits the wood. And I just want to touch the wood. I don't want to push in. And that's probe two. Now it wants number three. So I need to move up on the side here. Is our wood rough like that? Probe three. And we're going to create a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be what was the measurement? It's going to be. Half inch wide by. Okay, I'll go height half inch. Half inch. Okay. And the uh, width 
width is going to be 4.75. Okay, the width is 4. Right, and then the radius, you put that down as 0.125. All right, so our bit is quarter inch bit. So then we come back here, and now it thinks it's an inside cut. So we want to say we want an outside cut. And then we could start by going like 0.1. Or something so we're out of ways okay right because you want to take off less material and then you'll get a smoother cut right so then <laughs> Little bit of room for a glue, and that's uh, and yeah. that's.